All right, welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to be doing a little GSAP tutorial. And I got a little tattoo while in Vienna, just as a memory. All right, you know about me. So today we are going to be doing a, an effect that I've been wanting to try for a long time. I think it's exceptional and it's, I would say it's kind of an upgrade to the stacking containers video that I have filmed ages ago. And to this day, it's one of the most popular videos on this channel. So this is an upgrade, I would say, made with GSAP. So let's get into it. All right, so what I did already on this page is add a container. This container basically works as a hero section. I only have a heading here, but I think this gives you the idea of what it should be, right? Anyway, the size of the hero section is 100 VH. This is the standard size, unless you have something specific that you want to do. It is important that you have some sections or a section at least on top uh, before the stacking cards section itself because otherwise this uh, effect is not going to work. It's just like the stacking cards that you can do with the native uh, Elementor features. This works in the same way. And this is going to work as a pinning effect. Anyway, more on this as we work on it. All right, so let me go to the container and go to layout additional options and i have hidden the uh, overflow this is what i do usually this is standard in my practice and i have set the html tag uh, to a section that's it and the heading is just an h1 nothing else that's it and if you want to know what font i have used because probably i'll get this question this is let me go to fonts to typography and this is called artley typeface it's a custom font and i will leave a link to the font to this font and more fonts that are free from the maker of this font all right let's get into it so i'm going to add a section underneath this section and this is going to be our section that is holding the stacking containers all right so i usually just set this to full width and a height of 100 bh in this case specifically all right so in this container i am going to add another container and this container is going to have a full width and a height of 100 bh as well and let's go to additional options and i am going to set this to a section and as usual I think let me just set the overflow hidden on the parent container let's go back to our child container and I am going to advance and I'm just going to drop in here the CSS classes that we will have on the cards all right so in this container I am going to add another container I know it sounds like excessive containeritis but it's not and this container will simply uh, just have a class of IMG nothing custom made to this and in this container we are going to be adding our image widget so let me just go to select an image I'm gonna go with this one and let's go to style set this to 100% height and cover as object fit center center all right so this is pretty big uh, but we are going to fix this with some custom CSS. What we can do right now is simply duplicate this container. Duplicate, yes. And change the image in here. Let's go with this one. And let's have another duplication. And let's go and replace this with this one all right i am going to publish all right so let's go and have a check on our classes so this one has a card pinned this has card pinned and this has card pinned because we duplicate duplicated but let's assume that this is our last card so instead of pinned we are going to say scrolled 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 
so or scroll so always keep in mind that the last card should have this class uh, the second class should the, be replaced from pinned to scroll so if this is not your last then the last one right keep that in mind but in my case this is the last but if you would have more than three so let's say you have four yeah you would have another one here the class of scroll will be added to the last image all right let me publish this i'm going to add the html tag right now because it's best if i start explaining things as we go with the code so um i will just drag it sometimes it doesn't go in the place that you want and it's annoying so i'm gonna add my code in here and i will explain as we go let me just publish because we still have to add other things we will need another container in here so this last container will have a separate so whatever this last container is you will need to add this class to it no matter what it is i'm gonna say this 100 uh, vh oh, let me publish and i am going to call this last count this is our con last container this is our last card and this is the pinning section all right so if you want to change these classes here you will have to keep in mind that you need to to change them everywhere so as the containers have this class here you would have to change that there and the same stands for card scroll pin last count and so on and i think that's about it and the hero we're gonna come back to this in a bit we have not set that class yet all right i'm going to publish and let's see if anything happens uh, right now so the cards are painting but they are way way too big uh, i mean it's not a bad effect either but we might want them to be smaller i think this is pretty cool already It is very cool, actually. But you can sit, set these uh, cards, these um, images to have a specific size. All right, so I am going to add some custom CSS on these images. So let's go to the parent. So we are in the parent container. I'm going to, to go to the custom CSS and drop it in here. So you can actually set this in the element or natively if you want but to be honest i like to sometimes just add css in there so it's much easier all right so let's have another look okay there we go this is looking pretty slick and we could add something at the end so we know what it and I'm gonna copy this and let's go all the way to the last container and paste it in here all right I mean we have another container let's just remove this this and it and set it in the center all right let's have another look pretty damn cool yeah all right so let me just go back to um, to the code and make sure that you add these classes on your hero hero and pinned because uh they co they correlate with these classes here very important so if you want to replace any of these classes uh, you can do so here but please remember to have them replaced here and in an element or whatever classes are set as well as here so keep that in mind and this is pretty cool I would say Alright, if you 
would like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.